In this video, we're going to talk about how to lock individual cells and also how to protect the worksheet. You can create a password and protect it. So first, let's put some data on the worksheet. Let's zoom in first. Let's call this the first quarter. And this will be the second quarter. Or rather, let's just call it Q1. And let's see if we can extend it. So we have the first four quarters. And here in the first column, we're going to put the name of our sales agent. Let's say John, Sally, Megan, Ronald, and let's say Rachel. And we're going to take the sum and the average. Now let's put some random numbers. So let's type in equal ran between and I want the cells for each quarter to be somewhere between 10,000 and 100,000. So first I need to select the bottom number and then comma and then the top number. So let's extend it, and also let's extend it to the right. OK, so I have some random numbers, and let's go ahead and format these cells. So let's right click, go to Format Cells, and then Number. And let's turn it into a currency with no decimal places. Now let's take the sum of the cells for the five sales agents. Now these numbers will vary because I'm using the ran between function. So as you can see, they're being updated. And now let's take an average. Now, all of the cells that I don't want anyone to edit basically the cells that I want to lock. I'm going to put a color to it. So I don't want anyone to edit my headers. So let's give that a color. You don't have to give this color. It's not necessary, but I'm just doing it. So let's give it a blue color. And then I don't want anyone to edit the names of these individuals. So let's give that another color. Let's choose like a a lighter color and my sum and average these formulas I don't want it to be edited so let's put another color to that let's make it yellow and also the word sum and average I don't want that to change either so let's give that a red background color so the only things that I want someone to be able to edit are the cells in each quarter for these five sales agents. Now, what you need to do at this point is you need to go to, let's right click this. If you go to Format Cells and then go to Protection at the top, notice that the cells are locked. And you, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to protect the worksheet. But before we protect it, we need to unlock certain cells. So every cell in this Excel worksheet is locked. So once we protect the worksheet, we won't be able to edit anything. So what we need to do is unlock the cells that we want to be able to edit once we protect the worksheet. So I only want to edit the information highlighted in white. Let me zoom in further. So at this point, select the cells that you wish to unlock. So then right click, go to Format Cells, and then once you're at the Protection uh, tab, unlock those cells. Check this box, or uncheck it, and then click OK. So now those cells have been unlocked. Now what we need to do is protect the worksheet. To do that, go to Review, and then select Protect Sheet. And now you'll be given an, uh, an option to put a password to protect 
or to deprotect your uh, sheet. So let's call the password deprotect. Now here you can uh, check certain things, but I'm going to use the default settings. Once you click OK, and then it's going to ask you to re-enter the password in order to proceed. So let's confirm the password. Make sure you type in exactly what you typed in before. And so now the worksheet is protected. So if I try to edit, let's say Q1 and call it Q5, it won't let me. The cello chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. To make a change, you need to unprotect the sheet. So I can't change Q2. That's also protected. I can't change Megan's name to, let's say, Kim. And I can't change the formula. However, the numbers, the cells that I've unlocked, I can change that. For example, if I want to change Sally's numbers for Q1, let's make it 75,000. Let's put a comma. I can do that. If I want to change uh, Megan's cells for the third quarter, let's say what just happened. Let's get rid of that. Let's say 46,000. I could do that. And so once you unlock certain cells before you protect the worksheet, those cells will remain unlocked. You can still edit those cells. Every other cell that was locked before you protect the worksheet will remain locked. And so now you know how to lock and unlock individual cells. So keep in mind, once you protect that worksheet, all the cells are already locked. You need to unlock it first to be able to edit certain cells. Now, let's talk about unprotecting the worksheet. So if you go back to review and select unprotect sheet, you're going to be prompted to input the password that you selected before. And so let's type in dprotect. Click OK. And then now we can edit Q3. We can call it Q5, even though we don't need to. But we can make the changes that we need to. You could still change the numbers here. You can call that, let's say, changes to 75,000. And so that's how you could unprotect the worksheet, but you need the password that you put in before.